Welcome back. May is Stroke Awareness Month, and we want to take this opportunity to remind all of us about the warning signs of stroke and how we can reduce the risk by up to 80%. Joining us in the studio this morning is Baptist Health's Dr. Devin Ballard with Sherwood Family Medical Center. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So what is a stroke? So stroke, there's two kinds of strokes. You usually can have a ischemic stroke or a hemorrhagic stroke. Ischemic a ischemic stroke is one where there's a blood clot usually that blocks blood flow to the brain and then the hemorrhagic stroke is one that actually the vessel kind of breaks uh, and then the ischemic stroke is by far the most common 80 85 percent of strokes what are the symptoms so the usually abrupt symptoms you can use the acronym be fast so there's usually an abrupt either a balance issue eyesight issue or visual change that's acute uh, a facial drooping is common um, uh, arm weakness or face, uh, 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 and, uh, uh, and also you can have, yeah, speech difficulty. So like getting aphasia where you're trying to get uh, words out and it usually can happen at dinner. It can happen uh, with family members and things of that nature. So, and then time is the most important where you gotta get somebody to come, come get you. Uh, call 911 uh, because if you're a family member trying to take somebody with a stroke, they might decompensate while you're on the road. Mm -hmm. And so, but a, a, a paramedic can get at least stabilize you and get you to the hospital as fast as you can. Why is calling 911 so important? To get to the hospital because some of the strokes, uh, an ischemic stroke, you can actually sometimes, if it's that kind of stroke, you can give a clot buster. You can actually reverse the stroke. You can break the clot up, get blood flow back to the brain that's not wow. getting, getting oxygen, and uh, actually reverse 100% of the symptoms. So how can we prevent strokes? So eat better, you know, nutrition, exercise, watch your fried foods, uh, and uh, st stabilizing chronic medical problems, blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol, things of that nature. So kind of um, maintaining uh, uh, your total body health. So I was reading somewhere that uh, saunas can help uh, prevent strokes. Or do we need more research on Probably that? Probably need more research. Saunas are nice, but I'm not sure about stroke prevention. <laughs> <laughs> but, ex but exercise is the most is ex super important. Getting cardiovascular exercise, uh, uh, you know, three to five times a week at least. How bad are eating fried foods and, and affecting strokes and things like that? If it's episodic, you know, everybody's going to have their fried foods. If it's all the time, if you're eating out all the time, it can cause weight gain, can affect the cholesterol, affect uh, blood pressure because of extra sodium. Uh, so. Some fried foods, if it's on a routine basis, can be an issue. All right, Dr. Ballard, thank you so much for joining us. If you would like to contact him, you can do so by going to baptist-health.com or calling the Baptist Health Line at 1-888-BAPTIST.